everyone, MLB Sunsparkle here and today I'm going to be showing you a car boot sale haul. This haul is from Sunday the 6th of August, so let's get started. Everything I bought was a doll of some kind, so let's begin. So here is a LOL OMG B-Girl, she's really adorable. But... So I really need to stop buying double OMGs, especially of ones that I purchased new. However, I just couldn't leave her behind and I felt so bad for her. I hope I can help her out a little bit. I also got Lady Braids. Unfortunately, she has the same problem that her hair is trashed. It's not quite as bad condition. My plan with her is to give her lots of really cute braids. I'm really hoping that it will help her hair out a bit. But it is very, very damaged and tangled. I got this LOL OMG as Lady Braids choker on. She's so, so cute. She unfortunately doesn't have her hands or her clothes or anything, but she's still really beautiful. Her face is in great condition and her hair is also really nice as well. Her hair is so soft. I'm really, really pleased to have got her as I don't have any fierce dolls at all yet. Now I got four dolls from this seller. She gave me the four for six pounds, which I don't think is too bad. And this was the fourth doll. This is a funky fashion makeover Yasmin. She's super, super adorable. I love her so much. I think she's one of the earlier ones, judging by her screening. She's really pretty. She does have a haircut, but I'm hoping that I will be able to wash her hair up and fix her parting and that she will look absolutely gorgeous. I'm really happy to have one of these. My only other funky fashion makeover doll is a Forever Diamonds Yasmin, and I got her in April 2021. So it's been a very long time since I've run into one of these, so I was really pleased to see this Yasmin. Next up, from another seller, they had dolls for 50p each. They had about three boxes of dolls, so I had a good search through all of them and I found four dolls that I really wanted. So I got this Jane from Descendants. I do already have Jane and I am trying to stick to one doll per character for Descendants. However, mine doesn't have her hair or her outfit, so I figured this one is only missing shoes. And for 50p, she is in really nice condition, so I picked her up. And then they also had this Abby, unfortunately she's missing her arms and she also has horrible glue seepage but it's to be expected, still really really pretty and I believe she has her shoes and her outfit so I'm really happy about that. And for 50p I can't really complain. So I'd walk around the car boot sale once and then I'd come back and I saw some rather familiar pegs sticking out of one of the doll boxes and sure enough there were brats. So I got two brats stalls, I'm really excited, again they were 50p each. They're not in perfect condition, but for that price, I can't complain. I believe this is a movie two pack. For some reason, this Yasmin's legs click. I'm not quite sure why, um, but there we go. They really need a clean and the hair is really gunky and just, yeah. Chloe's also missing both her arms and Yasmin is missing one arm, but they're still absolutely beautiful and I'm very happy to add these two to my collection. Now my next purchase was quite pricey, she was £4. This is a little Bratz Baby's Adventure Girls Fianna doll. She's so so cute, she still has her earrings, her outfit and her hair is in quite good condition. It should be alright with the wash. She was just too cute to leave behind and I don't have her in my collection. Okay. I paid £1.50 for these. I got Hair Adorable's Bella doll, she's in really good condition. Then I got this LOL pet, she's one with rooted hair which I really love so so cute and then i got lol tweens goldie twist i'm so so pleased about this one i've been wanting goldie forever since her and gracie always hang out in the show and i do have gracie so i really wanted them to be together she does have this blue and pink in her hair and this was actually solid nail polish so it's just staining from that she looks really really cute and i'm so so pleased to add her to my collection so for 20p i grabbed this cute little teddy for dolls and then I also grabbed this LOL little sister. She's so adorable. My final bunch of items were all from one store, so I will show you what I got. I also paid £6 for this bundle. So let's get started on that. I got this Angel High doll. Super adorable. She's in good condition, just missing her outfit. I got this Mini Bee doll. So, so cute. I really, really love these. They make great dolls for your dolls. I got a Hatchimals Pixies doll. I got this Fail Fix doll. This is the one with the white hair. I'm missing the blue hair and the blonde hair one now. And then I have all the Fail Fix dolls, which is really, really exciting. And I also got this gorgeous LOL OMG Dazzle doll. She's so, so pretty. Her hair does need some serious work as it is very, very matted but hopefully I am able to fix her up as well. Then I got this Hair Durable's Longest Hair Ever Rain. Unfortunately, her hair 
is not in great condition, it's going to need a lot of work. But the doll herself is in good shape and she has her little outfit. She's so, so cute. I really, really wanted this doll, but she did retail for £20, which I thought was quite expensive, so I didn't end up getting her. But I'm really glad I have her now. She's so, so cute. Then I got this Head Adorables pet. It's super adorable. Then I got this LOL Tweens Fancy Girl. She's so, so cute. I love her so much. I've given her a little brush and she is looking absolutely adorable. And finally, I got this Magic Night Out Sasha Bella Paws. I'm really, really excited about this one. I don't have her yet. She has her outfit. I'm hoping I'll be able to fix her hair up really nicely. Her face is absolutely beautiful. I am so, so pleased to have found her. So that was my car boot sale haul for the 6th of August. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you ever so much for being here. And I really hope that I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.